Have you ever wondered what happens to your biopsy specimen after you leave the doctor's office? Let's follow a biopsy specimen through the histology process. A lab assistant transports specimens from the OR and other clinics to the accessioning area in surgical pathology. Each specimen container holds a separate biopsy. Another lab assistant compares paperwork ensuring that tissue type, patient name, and other information match. A specimen number is assigned to each case and histology cassettes are printed with that number. A pathologist assistant will gross in the specimen next dictating information such as the patient name and physical characteristics of the specimen. The specimen is then placed into the cassette or cassettes. Once the pathologist assistant has prepared several cassettes, a histologist picks them up and places them in a tissue processor. Some labs use a microwave processor like this one. Once fully processed, specimens are embedded in paraffin for cutting and are then, then taken to microtomy. Paraffin blocks are cut using a microtome to produce a ribbon of tissue sections four to five microns thick. This ribbon is floated in a bath of warm water. The histologist chooses the best section and transfers it to a slide labeled with the patient's specimen number. Full racks of slides are brought to a triage area where they are placed in an oven for 30 minutes at 60 degrees Celsius. Then slides are loaded into an automatic stainer where they will be deparaffinized, dehydrated, and stained with hematoxylin and eosin. If required, they will receive one of over 75 special stains such as this brown and brown. Immunohistochemistry a precise type of antigen antibody labeling may also be performed on the slide. An automatic cover slipper completes the final step in making the slide. Completed slides are compared to their respective tissue blocks to confirm that the specimen numbers match. A histologist checks each slide for quality and correct staining, a final check before the slides are brought to the surgical pathology office. Slides are then delivered to the pathologist for review, complete with the specimen dictation, patient information, and the ordering provider's notes. Once the pathologist reviews the slides and confirms his or her diagnosis, a biopsy report is created and sent to the ordering provider.